Today we review Avatar. It is for this week's Harry Movie Club. So Avatar was released in 2009. It's already been five years. I really didn't know it was that long ago. Um, the movie still holds up visually, of course, due to the fact that at that time it was, I'd say, probably one of the most visually stunning films. However, that's about as stunning as it gets with the visuals. The movie does feature Sam Worthington. We have him as Jake Sully. We never see his brother except in the casket where I assume it was Sam Worthington just laying down because it looked exactly like him. Zoe Saldana is Natiri, who's the Navi blue girl, which is the love interest of Jake Sully. I didn't realize it was her. It's, hard. it's a little hard to tell who they are behind all the blue CGI shit. Same with uh, CCH Pounder. She's Moat, who is like their spiritual leader, the one with the big uh, like bone here and then the necklace thing. She's from, if you've seen Sons of Anarchy, now that CCH Pounder has been in Sons of Anarchy, I see her everywhere, and it's kind of funny. Sigourney Weaver is in this, I don't know why. She plays Grace, it seems like if there's an alien concept, she's down. Um, and that's kind of how I felt for a lot of the people. I didn't get attached to any of them ever. Um, the, one of my favorite people, though, is JP from Grandma's Boy, Joel David Moore. He plays in this Norm Spellman. If you haven't seen Grandma's Boy, definitely check that out. Uh, he's in it. I do like in the beginning where we see Jake Sully uh, kind of like kicking the shit out of someone at a bar, but then he gets thrown out, and then they throw his wheelchair on him. Made me chuckle. Sadly, that's probably one of the few times I did chuckle in this. It's not supposed to be a funny movie, but even action movies need to have something that draw you in. One of the things I disliked... Um, is the characters. The cast is good, but the characters, I don't know, I didn't feel really attached to any of them. I didn't care if the Navi lost their home or if Sully got to be with Natiri. I didn't give a shit. And that kind of let me down. The movie is, I watched the Extended Collector's Edition, which was probably a bad choice because it tops out at three hours practically. The original one is over two and a half hours, so I didn't really have much interest in the first time I saw it without being the extended collector's edition but there are parts in the extended collector's edition that let you see kind of a little bit of the backstory on earth which I did enjoy so I am glad I watched it for this so Jake Sully is a marine he lost his legs during some fight they give that in the intro he's in the VA hospital talking about flying but then you have to come out of your dreams his brother was who they actually wanted for this mission he got killed. I think it was like a robbery gone wrong. They don't really care much about it, really, in the movie. They don't give that backstory. They could have spent some more time on that backstory rather than having all these great perspective shots. But they are great perspective shots. I do appreciate and actually like it when the aliens, which they call the humans at the end because to the Navi, we are aliens, and I like that too. They're at the big tree, or home tree, whatever they call it, and they show the tree versus these helicopters, which we think are huge, but they're teeny tiny. The huge carrier, which has the douchebag Colonel Miles on it, he's Stephen Lang. I hadn't seen him in anything other than this, the guy with the scratch on his face. His carrier is like this big, and the tree is this. And the tree, thinking that way, would have to be huge. And I do like that in this movie. They're great with showing the perspective shots. I guess that's probably something that Cameron's good at. Titanic and all actually. Now that I think about it, yeah, Titanic has great perspective shots too. But the visuals are good. The script let me down. It's a lot like, honestly, Pocahontas. If I wanted to see someone come and try to take the new land, I'd watch Pocahontas. We're going for something called Unobtainium. That's the dumbest name for an element ever. Um, Unobtainium. Especially when he has it just floating in this weird, like, vacuum called unobtainium and he holds it in his hand. He's obviously obtainium it. It's kind of dumb. They could have called it anything else. Um, but I guess maybe it's a foreshadowing device because I'm pretty sure they actually never do get the unobtainium at the end of the movie because the Navi rally back and do take out Colonel Miles uh, while he's trying to actually kill Jake Sully in his human form, not just his avatar form. So it has been like five years. The effects in this movie do hold up. The cast is alright. The characters, I didn't feel connected to any of them. I didn't really care. One of the things I want to point out, though, is the fact that Jake Sully 
replaced his brother, I don't remember his brother's name, but when Jake Sully comes out of his cryo after the five year trip or whatever, he goes to the locker to retrieve his belongings and it still says T Sully. After five years, I think they should be able to change the name to J Sully at least. It's not like they had anything else to do on their five year cryo trip. The movie is what I'd say kind of like the artist. It's a visual experience. The artist was a full experience. That this movie is visually an experience, but really, other than that, there's nothing I'd say going for it. It did gross well, and it was kind of popular. Avatar is like a one-watch film, really, for me. You need to experience it. It is a good film to experience, but when it comes down to it, I wouldn't waste my hard drive space on it. So it is a delete. If I want to watch a movie like this, I'll check out Pocahontas. It's a lot shorter. But do check out Avatar once. I wouldn't recommend buying it. So that's it. Today we review Avatar from 2009. It is for Harry Movie Club. If you do want to see the rest of the Harry Movie Club responses, check out the playlist by clicking this annotation. It's a playlist created by Mr. Harry Britt, the curator of this. And it includes all of the responses, regardless of late or not, which is nice of him. So check them out. Feel free to contact me, Twitter, MadLFan. Use hashtag today review. Everything else is in the description. I hope you have a good time.